We just saw week 18 of the NFL go down. There was a lot of money won and lost out here in lovely Las Vegas. And what better way to start out the show with a quadrant of gentlemen that have now become millionaires out here in Las Vegas. We've got the Circa Millions Contest. It's one of the biggest sports handicapping contests that you will find. Winning team yeah. gets $1 million. And we've got four gentlemen from the great state of Michigan with me right now. It is the chief three contestants that they needed the Detroit Lions in order to be able to win the million dollars. Their main competitor had the Green Bay Packers, and we're joined by them right now. Brian, Anthony, Zach, and John are joining me right here in studio. And gentlemen, congratulations on becoming millionaires, and thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Craig. Thanks for having us. Um, it's been a wild few days. Um, it's It's been a whirlwind ever since we got off the plane, I think. Um, uh, thanks to Circa, uh, amazing venue. And Derek, thank you to Derek and Nicole. Uh, they've been absolutely world-class since we got here. Um, it, it, it's just, it's the pinnacle, if you like sports and sports betting. And it, it's just, it's unbelievable. It, it's been an amazing experience. Um, you know, we kind of, we talked about it. I mean, I don't know. We've talked about it for about a week now, I guess, guys. Um, ever what since, if? ever since New Year, yeah. The what if scenario. What if we're all sitting here with a million dollars on the line with the Lions, and and it, it, you know, we got what we wanted, and you know, the Lions, you know, God love them, God. They, I like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's my public service now. It's, it's. Oh, it, you're it, good. No, it's, 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 um, it's great, um. We, we wanted it this – we kind of were hoping for this scenario. We were hoping the Lions were going to be in the playoffs. But, God, you know, we just felt like they were turning a tide. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a new regime, and we just felt really good about them. So we wanted – we wanted uh, you know, we wanted to be on them. We wanted this – we wanted this scenario, and we got it. Absolutely. And just to add to a little bit to it, you were mentioning a gentleman by the name of Derek. The owner of mm -hmm. Circa, the sports book, the casino, that'd be Derek Stevens. He is a billionaire that is from the great <laughs> state of Michigan. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh. it is all full circle right here. Yeah, and, yeah. Man, it's just absolutely tremendous that you guys got it done. And you guys knew that it was going to be coming down to the Detroit Lions in terms of the last game. What else did you have on the card for this week that got you into position? Because... As we know, it was you guys needing the Lions and your main competitor needing the Green Bay Packers. So it was mano a mano in that final game. Yes. So um, we had uh, Browns. I'll start with the Browns. Browns plus two and a half. Dolphins plus one. Bengals minus seven and a half. Um, which God knows why nobody ran the ball in that game. But <laughs> um, And then Rams plus six and Lions plus four and a half. So... <laughs> we were kind of hoping that um, the you know we'd be in a position where we didn't have to sweat the, the Lions. Playing the playing the playing yeah, to get in the playoffs. Yeah, so we were hoping our, we were. Our gonna... mindset was the the Rams were going to take care of business, which was obviously an overtime game, and the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, the right side. We we felt like that was a great situation for the Rams and a great situation for the Lions, and we're kind of. Uh, as you can see, look, looking at what we uh, are dressed as, we're homers, right? <laughs> yeah. And just for yeah. those on radio, we've got four guys yeah, here yeah, that are yeah, in yeah. Detroit Lions yeah. sweatshirts best, right now. See us. <laughs> and you've got a gentleman that grew up 45 minutes from yeah. the state of Wisconsin, or from the, from the city of Green Bay, currently hosting this show. And I was with you guys. I was on the Lions in this go. spot. And just what did you guys see from the Lions towards back half of the season? Because so many people were talking about, oh, Aaron Rodgers is going to run the table. This is a Green Bay Packers team that is hot. And, yeah, the Green Bay Packers were winning some games, but I don't understand why there was such short shrift given to the Lions the fact that they had won, I believe, it was four out of their last five coming into this game too. I see me out of all, yes. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I saw from the Lions early on. Oh, I, I think we all kind of agree. We, we, we were on the Lions. Were we on them week one? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got we Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, a, lot, a lot throughout the year. Yeah. yeah, we were on them week one. We were on them week two against the Vikings. And they finished, yeah. what, 12 and, you know, what, they're really good against, five the, against the spread yeah. all year. The moral of the so. story is the Lions are really good against the number yeah. I, I, this year. I mean, there were just, statements made. We just, were all in a bunker last weekend rooting out our, our entry, right? We, yep. we had a very good weekend, right? Yeah. 
And there were statements made last weekend the Lions were going to win straight up against the Packers. Doesn't matter what the number is. Yeah, and it, we kind of we kind of held true to our to our statements. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's it, one word to define that team. It's grit. Yeah. As Dan Campbell said. It's, yeah. it's a shame this yeah. kind of time ran out on them. I wish, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I, I think the Lions are really. I tough. know no team in the NFL wants to play them. No. no. I know it doesn't matter what we're talking about here, <laughs> but. <laughs> The one six start killed them. Yeah. 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 I mean, if they kind of, you know, meandered through that at 500, then it would be a different scenario right now. Just got to watch out for them next year. Yeah. But, yes. yeah, we, we, we were on them. On the but we were on them, and we we lucked in. We, we were on them in their hot spots, to be honest. We were on the home team in the right spots. And um, we laid off them against the Jets, th- thought they'd run into trouble in the Panthers, so we, we, we got lucky there. But, yeah, we rode we rode them, and we, uh, you know, to what like these guys said, we wanted – what are, what what what, what 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 better situation could you be in? We're we're from Detroit. We're out here with Derek Stevens from Detroit. Um, we're at Circa. We're we're together rooting home the hometown team to to finish Dream out. Scenario. Yeah, to finish and, out a million you know, bucks. So, at halftime, yeah. there was a hedge, hedging opportunities, right? Yep. And I spoke directly to Derek's wife, who was on the Lions, and she said, "I'm gonna ride the Lions." Yeah. And so we all kind of took 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 the advice and and. I mean, lo and behold, the, the Lions yeah. came out and, and, yeah. and finished the job. Yeah. So. Absolutely. And right here on the Greg Peterson Experience, we do love winners. And <laughs> we've got four right here. That is, yeah. that is yeah. exactly yeah. what we yeah. love. And I just want to get your backstory because I talked to you guys a little bit off air, but this is not like some sort of four guys that you guys – are like some sort of a syndicate group or anything like that. You guys <laughs> respected groups, respected groups, yeah. respected groups right? We, 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 you guys yeah, yeah, are yeah. respected group now. Oh, trust <laughs> me about that. But this group yeah. doesn't tell you. How did you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that can do it, anybody can. Yeah. Exactly. But I do want to just get a little bit of the backstory. How did you guys get into this entry and? What made you guys want to enter in? Because you guys, before this, hadn't done a whole heck of a lot of these, and you guys came out in this one, and you took the whole thing. So um, I work for um, 97 The Ticket radio station back home, and nice. um, Derek advertises back in Detroit, the D Las Vegas and, and Circa and, and everything else. Um, and so <laughs> a friend of mine who works at the radio station, um, Bob Turner, was coming out here to see Derek, and he said, hey, I'm going to sign up for um, – I'm going to sign up for these contests. Do you want in? And I was like, yeah, I'll get in. I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll figure it out later. But, yeah, sign me up for the pick five. That'd be cool. Do it every week. Um, and then I offered it to these guys. Keep in mind, we're in a two group. of us are married to his sisters. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have two <laughs> brother-in-laws yeah, behind me. Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, I offered it to these guys. We're all, we're, I mean, brother-in-law, brother-in-law, uh, are one of our best friends and, here, and, obviously. And, and well, so his wife is best friends with. Uh, Zach's wife. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. So the moral story is that's how we got into it. And Wives. Yeah. So <laughs> we're just, you know, we just, we said, yeah, why not? Let's go. And I said, here, oh, here here's what it is. You guys want to, I didn't care if they split it or not. I was going to do it anyways. I told Bob I'd sign up for it. And so yeah. we all just said, yeah, let's get in and let's do it. Let's be fun. And so we did it. And, and yeah. if someone is more happy than us, it's not. <laughs> yeah. I just want to give this shout out to all of our wives out there. We love you guys. I know you're watching. <laughs> oh, my God. And I just got brownie yeah. points yeah. forever. I think so. Zach for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, man. Um, so, yeah, that's how we got into it. It's been great. It's been a whirlwind. Like I said, Derek and everybody, everybody, right. everybody. been world class out here and been I, awesome. You know, we, we, we talked about it on Friday, right? I, I think the core of us were – a lot more time spent on college football Saturdays, and it, we were lucky this past month on the holidays, kind of allowing us to spend the, the way the NFL schedule shook down. That was NFL, you know, yep. either Saturday yeah. or Sunday. We were allowed to bunker down and, and enjoy the heck out of it from Brian's parents to, to you know Zach's in laws, my in laws, and, and whatever. It was an awesome family experience. It, yeah. we're, we're we're insanely lucky. Nothing yeah. says holidays yeah. like hard rooting. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And my question to you guys is: you guys really came on strong towards the back half of those contests. Yeah. What did you guys learn from the first few weeks that made you so successful towards the back half to be able to get this win done? I don't think we changed a whole lot. I did just think I think the middle of the season the NFL's kind of tricky there there's a couple of tricky weeks uh but i don't we never really deviated from we we just it was simple pick a game pick one game you really like one winner every week from the four of us and then we talk about a group pick that we like sometimes people like the same thing and it made it easy we didn't really disagree on a whole lot or 
or have any anything that was yeah we just we yeah we just kind of felt you know very unscientific here's the thing with the nfl and you guys know that you you know this is that you just got to be a you can't be afraid to walk in something that looks weird so so you know we did a lot of that and it it benefited us that's really awesome and you guys four guys you pick one a piece and then a group pick and it turned out diamonds, and yeah. you guys have about 45 seconds here. This is sort of my Jim Manson moment because <laughs> whenever a team wins the Super Bowl, they say, what are you going to do next? And they always say, I'm going to Disney World. I don't know if you guys are going to Disney World, but you guys are now well, millionaires. Back here. What we're, are you guys I think we're coming back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it. I think we're coming back here. We're Actually, seeing, I'm going to get some, days, I'm gonna get some sleep this yeah. week. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, I'll see um, you in a few days, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to come back here. Come yeah, 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 I think. I think might invite another person. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a bag. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, it's we're, gonna be a lot of fun. We're very fortunate. We're happy as hell. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That is the Chief Three Group. They just won the Circa Millions contest. These four guys, they are now millionaires. A big congratulations to them for taking down one of the biggest handicapping contests in the world. Visit Veasan.com to get current odds. Listen for free. Find showtimes and download Veasan Sports Betting Podcasts.